All right, what's up my people and welcome back to the SN95 Power Channel. Um, we're going to continue this series on me painting my car. Now I didn't record me spraying the base on the quarter panel of the car, but I sprayed the base last night and now I'm about to throw on this clear. Now, in the past I've been a, a, a big fan of um, a different brand of clear coat but um tamco that's the name of the, the clear clo i couldn't remember the name i had a brain freeze for a second so <laughs> he's always used to um tamco clear coat but i came across this thing called speedo coat now honestly the, the the biggest difference between the two that i want to, why i want to try it is uh the price so for a gallon of uh tamco high size euro clear was about $75 more than this. Um, looked at some reviews online and people seem happy with it. And I think for my skill level, I don't have to ball out and use like some real expensive clear because I don't think my skill level is good enough to justify the expense. So I want something that's, that's you know, that's gonna, go, that's gonna build high and kind of level itself out. So this is supposed to have that good property of that. So right now I'm letting the garage warm up. We're going to, uh, mix up some of this clear. I know with the base, I needed about five ounces to spray that, that panel. I should be able to get away with the same with this, but I didn't spray the base um, very heavy. Now, according to the instructions on this, you know, they, they only suggest two wet coats. So I'm gonna spray it real heavy, first coat, second coat and I probably throw a third coat on there if I have enough material. So let's um, mix up our clear and uh, get the gun set up. I'm using this 3M cup system. That's rest to go. So let's um, prep the panel. I wanna get my air hose and try to blow off any junk that might be in the area. Air it out. Now I'm getting my tech cloth. Two passes, I'm gonna flip it over, do another pass.
so here is the outcome. This is probably six hours later. I um, probably had the garage up to about 60 degrees today. You know, the, the camera really lies. It's, it, the camera's very deceiving when it comes to showing cars online. Now you might look at this and you're gonna say, man, that thing is like glossed out. You laid that paint down, but let's, um, be real with you for a second. All right, so this has feel like a factory car. Now, don't get me wrong. So, funny thing, I um, had plastic dip. I had dipped these vent covers. So, I'm gonna have to go back and respray these because you can see the color difference between the two. It's close. They're both um, torch red, but uh, two different manufacturers. So what does this mean? It has orange peel. Is this paint job trash just because it has orange peel? No. The good thing is I laid down, I think maybe four or five coats of clear. So I've got a lot of build on this to flatten this out and to really make this thing look um, glossy. I can say, just you know out the out the gun like this it's got a, a real nice um gloss to it i'm pretty happy with the the finish of it it's kind of comparable to the tam coat as far as like the gloss um the downside with this uh speedo kite speedo cut whatever it's called it's it i don't think it really likes um the cooler temperatures like that now i did use a a fast activator and i painted the um, side mirror right there. Same garage conditions, actually it was a little bit colder. And I used the Tamco with the Fuji gun, same setup, <clears throat> just a different uh, manufacturer clear coat. And I didn't have any orange peel on it. So I think um, a lot of it is how I have the gun set up and the temperature of the garage manufacturer. So I'm not discouraged. This just means I just have to spend more time um, wet sanding I would probably start at like a 1500. I did a small test piece on the roof of the car. 1500, um, did I do 15? 1500, 2000, 3000, and it came out perfect. So I think that's the recipe for this clear to smooth it out. I really don't have to um, go too many steps in between clears as far as cutting it. And um, yeah, so we're starting on this panel. I'm going to wait until next weekend I'll move over to the door and then I'll do the fender. I'll probably take the bumper, the front and rear bumper off, take it over there and maybe even the deck lid and take it over to the build garage and spray those over there. I can spray all those at, at, at the same time just because it's not an attached garage. I would have took this car over there, but I'm having, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm having some problems. It was not really problems. Like if, if, if you guys have ever done this bonehead move on your mod motors, let me know. You know, I got the timing chain and everything back assembled, put the timing cover back on. I look on the ground and I look at the crank re, um, reluctor wheel right there on the ground. So I got to rip all that stuff back off just to put the dang on um, crank trigger wheel back on. So yeah, I got to get that car out the garage so I can start working on the white car, but this car is priority first. So. I'm going to repaint the car. I'm going to order a new hood for this car. I'm going to do a cow hood. It's going to be a um, heat extractor cow hood. It's from, um, gosh, what's the name? Duralast or you know one of those companies, the cheaper fiberglass hoods. But it's um, modeled off the the new GT500, where it's got the uh, the hood extractor right in the center. So hey, tell me what you guys think. Hey, like I said, I'm I'm down for constructive criticism. I actually want to um, perfect this craft. So, you know, any tips you guys, you know, you professional painters want to give me, uh, this is, like I said, this is a turbine sprayer. I had more success with my uh, Master Pro um, paint gun laying down clear without having this much orange peel. So I know it's more of a um, technique with this um, pressure pot spray gun and you know, we're gonna to continue to um, play with it and hopefully I can get to the point where I'll have not a, a perfect 
uh, paint job. Like uh, my man John tells me all the time, there's no such thing as a per perfect paint job, but I would like to have a paint job where I don't have as much um, orange peel as this. So, hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like I say, this is going to be a um, series of videos about me uh, repainting this car. Now, to, the, to right now, I really haven't showed you much as far as prep, but um, we'll get into that on one of these videos. I, I just really want to get this video of me um, reviewing the turbine system and just kind of um, doing a video of how it sprays. So we'll get a little bit more um, in-depth detail of how to prep and you know mix your paint and all the little nuances that I know of. And maybe you guys can give me tips along the way. So tell a couple of people about the channel. I appreciate your time and God bless.